Hey, what's going on everyone? Chris here with a quick public service announcement. I hope everyone is doing well. For those of you that are watching this video in the future and you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, COVID-19 wreaked havoc on the world in 2020. You should Google it. When you leave your home, please wear a face mask, stay at least six feet away from other people, wash your hands as you move from location to location, and before you go to that social gathering, consider whether putting your life and the lives of others at risk is worth it. Thank you. What's going on YouTube? My name is Chris and welcome to In Modern Nation. For those of you that have been following my YouTube channel for any period of time, first of all, thank you. And second of all, you know what my channel is all about. But for those of you that are new, I want to welcome you. My name is Chris. I run a YouTube channel where I teach people how to modify and customize computers and electronics through step-by-step -step guides. And that's what I do. That is the basis of this entire YouTube channel. But today's video is not a tutorial. So this video started because of a link that my wife sent me. So you can blame Mrs. A Modern Nation for this one. So my wife sent me a link to a YouTube video from a channel called The Try Guys. So the channel is about a group of guys that like to try out different things every week. And honestly, if you're over the age of 30 and you haven't heard of The Try Guys YouTube channel, I don't blame you. So in this video, they decided that they were going to get haircuts by following a tutorial guide on YouTube. And my wife sent this to me saying that after she had watched the video, she felt more confident that she could cut my hair. I, of course, had my doubts. So that inspired me to create this video today, The Problem with DIY Guides. And in this video, I'm going to be covering everything from DIY, homemade guides, life hacks. I'm even going to throw my own YouTube channel under the bus. So the first problem with DIY video guides, watching a video does not make you an expert. Let's just put that in big letters right here. Watching a video does not make you an expert. In fact, watching a video doesn't even guarantee that you'll be able to complete the project in the video. All it does is allow you to feel more confident about your abilities. And I'm not bullshitting you. There are actual studies from the University of Chicago where they had one test group watch a five second video 20 times and another group watch the video only once. And the group that watched the video 20 times was more confident in their ability to perform the task outlined in the video versus the group that only watched the video once. But let me be clear, confidence does not equal competence. In fact, what they discovered was that the people who watched the video 20 times versus the people that watched it five times, they scored the same. And for many of you, that's no surprise because it has nothing to do with experience. In fact, there was one study that was done by an insurance company that discovered that many young homeowners ended up contracting to some sort of professional after they had started a DIY guide on YouTube. And I get it, I understand why people want to do things themselves. Oftentimes, it's in the interest of saving money. You can save a lot of money by doing it yourself versus paying somebody else to do it for you. But doing it yourself does not replace the wisdom and experience gained by that trained professional when performing that task. For example, you can clear a clogged garbage disposal by yourself, but that is not going to replace the experience and wisdom of a trained professional plumber who has seen many different scenarios and circumstances of which garbage disposals can be clogged. That brings me to my second point. Watching a video does not replace experience. In fact, many times you will not understand the struggles of completing a task until you get in there yourself and start getting dirty. And what do I mean by getting dirty? I mean getting in there, making mistakes, taking shortcuts that you shouldn't be taking, gaining the necessary experience by attempting to perform the task correctly. Watching a video will only show you what you can expect to run into when you're performing a certain task, but it doesn't tell you everything that you will run into. By the time that you have watched an instructional video, the person who made the video has already done the task at least one time before you have. And the people that make the DIY videos, including myself, have experienced the setbacks, the frustration, the headaches, and maybe even the jubilation of completing a project successfully. 
but you don't see any of that in the video oftentimes. How many times have you watched a tutorial video that actually showed you the mistakes that people make? How many times have you seen a tutorial video where the person feels frustrated and feels like they can't do it, they can't keep going? You don't because a tutorial is step one, step two, step three, and that's it. So what I try to do in some of my videos is show you some of the mistakes that I've made. Um, I did a four part bubble wall vlog, build vlog, where I talk about a lot of the problems I have and things didn't work out the way I thought they would and I had to kind of change up how I was gonna complete the modification. And I do this for two reasons. One, to remind myself that I am human and capable of making mistakes and two, to kind of showcase some of the mistakes that you might see as well when you complete your DIY project. We live in a world where people who make mistakes are looked down upon, but I think that mistakes are learning opportunities. It's a chance to get better, to figure out what you did, and to change that for the future. Right now I have two videos for the LCD side panel, version one and version 2.0. And I can tell you that I have failed many more times than most people have ever started on that project. But you didn't see that. What you saw was the completed mod from start to finish, both version one and version 2.0. And yes, there was room for improvement and changes that I could make for version 2.0. But what you didn't see was that I broke four LCD monitors to get there. And I do talk about that sometimes. I mean, do you think that Ninja got so good at Fortnite because he watched a tutorial video? Like, really? Yeah, you know, he probably did. That guy is so talented. I actually heard this, I don't know if this is true, but I heard that Ninja plays up to 80 hours per week of Fortnite. 80 hours, that's more than twice most people work full time. And you know what? He only wins 30% of the time. That means that he fails two thirds of the time. On Fortnite, he would get a grade of D. And yet he is one of the best and most revered players on Fortnite today. But you know what? He puts in the time and he practices and he plays and he plays. He doesn't get good because he watched a video and he did it once. No, he practices over and over and over again. So in conclusion, does that mean that you should just give up, stop watching my YouTube videos and go do something else? No, 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 no. I still need those YouTube bucks to uh, pay the bills. Watching a video is not gonna make you an expert. It's not gonna make you better at doing what you do. It, I'm hoping that my videos will encourage you and inspire you to try new things outside of your wheelhouse. Every time I've started a video, I started as a novice. And I'm not saying that I'm an expert by the end, far from it, but I got a little bit better and a little bit smarter because I tried. But remember, there is no try, only do. Hmm. <laughs> now that I think about it, maybe they should be called the do guys. Okay, so maybe marketing is not my strong suit. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and it made sense to you. And if it did, make sure you smack that like button below, share the video if you'd like. Also, if you're not already subscribed, please join the Modern Nation by clicking that subscribe button below. Ring the bell icon to be notified when my new videos go live. I'm not having a really set schedule right now. Um, it's been like 35, 36 days, I think, since I put out my last video. Um, I also have a Patreon if you'd like to donate. Uh, you can join my Patreon by clicking on the link below. Uh, also, if you buy anything from Amazon or any of the products featured in this video, uh, you can find those Amazon affiliate links below. I do make a commission. Uh, I, did, I don't think I featured anything in this video. It was bas basically a talking head. So uh, with that, uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see ya.